at this gym. When we came in, apologising about oh, the space is all right. Like, literally, you should see some of the places we've been to. <laughs> So this is another point I made before, is like, can we teach anybody to handstand? Well, we can do if they can get themselves from a bear crawl into a push-up position, strength, like, aside from that. Can we then take the feet up onto the wall and kind of hold shape? And then my job is, can I start to then just walk into a position? I can go as far as I feel comfortable, just get out of slump shape. Wherever you're gonna go, nice and tight. The main expectations were looking at different ways to try tapping into different players, how can we work on their kind of mobility, what other strategies can we use, so you know, and like you say, just turning it into like a play session but getting what we want from it and giving them different movement patterns that they can maybe use and then bring out onto the field. Body weight training, we can't just take some weights off a bar, we have to scale it slightly differently, so we have our locker full of tools and we're just going to manipulate the training environment to effectively manipulate how much load or, or the, the conditions for the training. So we might use assisted training in the form of a band if we can't do a muscle up or a pull up with a, a body weight. We might change the lever or angle in, in a back lever, might go to tuck position because it's easier than going full straight out. We're just manipulating the environment and then some of our simple s &C training type variables around just we use eccentrics, isometrics, isometrics to develop strength in certain positions. In all sports and, and places I work in, you want to look for different ways that you can work with people to get their attention to make change. And I think I've learned a lot this afternoon that will add to my armory. Learning the body positions and how you can build up to the higher level stuff from, from small pieces to larger pieces oh, is really helpful. Um, definitely kind of exposing weaknesses was a big thing for me. Um, I think putting players and athletes into positions where they're not as comfortable and exposing areas where they do need to see improvements that will then carry over into their overall performance. If you want to build a strong lower body then we need to be squatting, deadlifting, that sort of stuff. It's, we don't see this as a replacement. Where we do see what we've kind of um, gone through today with some of the, the different positions, particularly into sort of some, from some rotation and lateral movements, is that how important is developing strength at end range in terms of mobility, stability, and then building that strength. We don't necessarily need to go, obviously, with high intensity work, dropping down to the bottom of a Cossack, but it might be that we might stick a 10 kilo barbell on and just do some work through from here, because we want to get strong in that lateral position, getting out of some more like shapes that we don't often get ourselves into. A lot of the mobility work through lower limb, lower back will be really beneficial for our players. Um, something we can do as part of our warm-ups and also give them a little bit of a challenge and, like I say, help to motivate them and actually say, look, these are areas that you can, can look to improve upon going forward. Well, I think with all physios, or hopefully good physios, is it's finding the patient's buy-in, you know, and with our players, what is that buy-in? Obviously, if they're athletes, they naturally want a movement or something that they want to buy into. So I think, yeah, you know, that puts a bit more of a different focus on, here are some of the movements, and this is where we want to push you to. So I think, again, it just comes back into that closed loop of what's the player's drive and what's their buy-in, and definitely a different strategy we can use. I think there's certainly things that we can break them down and go, can you all do this? And naturally, there's going to be that competitiveness in the environment that they're going to push each other on, and you know they can look at building on from there. So I think there's definitely th um, things from all different abilities and backgrounds the players might have, um, and especially coming back from injury. I think that's really important that a player, you know, with our goalkeepers in specific, you know, with their shoulder problems, we can add different things in depending on what stage they are in that rehabilitation process to get them back on the field find something that they enjoy and they want to do and it's like well they'll work on their mobility or flexibility for that position because they want to do that thing. I used to pull my hamstring all the time when I played rugby and I'd get my hamstring boring drills to do and I didn't really do them that well because I just I didn't find them exciting enough rather than can we give people like movement outcomes that are going to tick the boxes of the things we want to do. That, that's one of the things that we think where calisthenics can fit nicely um, four people around just like the reason we're doing it.